All right, time for a mail call Monday. And we'll be opening this one with uh, Egyptian AK Bandit. Got a package here. Nicely wrapped. Chopped open here. And we've got an SVD. And the AK-47. These are from Goat Guns. And these are... Do they say what size? Oh, these are small, non-firing replicas. They got a whole bunch of them, I guess. I uh, just saw... Uh, Ellis did a video where he's giving this AK away to somebody. So I thought I would... Uh, check one out. And we got the SVD too. That's the two Kalashnikovs they got. They have a Tommy gun, uh, an M1, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, let's open it up. Piece of tape on the side. This is pretty cool. I've got a bunch of these uh, small AKs from uh, eBay and they're pretty junky. This one seems a little larger and seems pretty interesting. It has a little ammo and everything. Got the assembly instructions there. And we'll get this top piece of plastic off. And now you can see the, the parts there. Taped into place. And there's with the tape off. Man, I don't know if this camera's gonna pick up how awesome detail these things have. And they're metal. This is all pieces of metal. So uh, let's get it assembled. They've got the receiver with the pistol grip already assembled. It's got the selector and safety. It's got actual markings on the receiver there. Nice dimples. Got a little mag catch. Very nice detail. It's got a spring on it. Got tangs like an actual, what, type 3, I guess? Got a uh, 74 stock on it though, but uh, we won't ding them for that. And that's plastic, but it looks wood. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll go with the barrel. This is a little long, almost like an RPK barrel. Then, uh, let's see how these handguards and stuff fit on. Oh, I see. Do I have the barrel out too far or something? Oh, I see. This thing moves. There we go. So that makes a lot more sense. So, just like, uh, populating a real barrel. You've got the uh, gas block and the tube connected. Uh, you got your handguard connector there and threaded barrel. That's pretty cool. Front sight with a post. Got a rear sight that moves. Uh, it's not adjustable. Really looks like it's adjustable though. That is pretty cool. So let's put that thing on. And I'm guessing it just fits in nice and tight that's awesome and then it's all metal there's going to be a hole here i don't want to break nothing so i'll make sure i wiggle nicely and those holes are going to line right up nice then there's a little bag of screws and stuff here which i'm guessing is for that but we'll read the directions later right next we'll look at the uh carrier now this is more like the recoil spring so, no carrier, just the recoil spring, I guess. Oh, what am I doing? There's stuff in this baggie. Spring and a rod. So, I guess I will look at the instructions. They're going to have a... Oh, there's a bolt. I missed the bolt up here. Very cool. So, there's a bolt with a charging handle. And just like a regular AK, probably got to put that thing in first. There we go. Then our gas tube. That's neat. I guess I gotta put a spring on here. There's some mail going by. Some stuff heading out from the gear website store. Appreciate everybody who's been purchasing stuff here, getting ready for SHOT Show. And there you go, got a nice little bolt. Then we'll throw that dust cover on top. And keep in mind, I haven't read the directions really, and I haven't screwed everything together. So once this thing's back a little further and everything's screwed together, that'll be a little tighter. And that is looking pretty cool already. 
All right, so next up, the uh, lower handguard. Get that up, fit it into place, and that would lock in there. We've got this uh, upper handguard that has a front and back. Very cool. Nice. So, so far the detail is incredible. Uh, let's not complain about the lightning uh, cut on the 74 barrel. Got a nice handguard, looks pretty decent. Uh, got the handguards, look good. The attention to detail is awesome. And rivets, dimples, selectors, even the positions for your selector, like it. So next we'll get in, I guess we'll put on that uh, muzzle brake, which threads right on the front there. So it's supposed to look like a 74, I guess, so I'm not complaining about that stock. And so then we got the mag. So there's a real follower. There's three little rounds in there. It's got a notch. And no lug, but it cl clips right in. I'll have to uh, pause here and tighten everything up and put All the right, screws this put together. I had paused for maybe three minutes. It really didn't take too long. This was no trouble at all. It indexes right on to a little uh, slot the there for the cleaning rod on the bottom of the brake. It's got the cleaning rod. Great detail in the uh, front uh, parts of the barrel. Uh, this wasn't real difficult. I just tapped it ever so gently. Tap, tap, tap with the uh, uh, bayonet and it went right in. Lined up with those holes. Put two screws there. Uh, these, I guess they do it the old AK-47 style because it's a lot stronger for this miniature because this material is real. It's wood, or it's not wood, it's uh, plastic and metal, but um, these probably wouldn't be strong enough just being metal. Uh, it's, it's thin like a, like a coffee can, so uh, it's probably not strong enough to actually attach the stock normally with you know, not having the rivets or anything. So I can understand why they went to the AK-47 style. At least that's a true style. And again, you just put two screws in there, super solid. This thing is strong. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. Uh, no bayonet, sorry to say. I don't know why. I'll have to explain themselves on that one. But awesome with the uh, detail. And let's get that mag out of there. I haven't figured out the trick yet. There's sort of a, a place there where you can uh, reach the mag. Oh, bullet file. It's got three rounds that come with it. Little uh, miniature 762 by 39s very cool. They load in there. And there's no lug, just a little notch back here. So there's this, this little spring here, pushes out. Uh, the trick is just to give it a little, or you know, push, the, push it in a bit. And then it just rocks in like a regular AK mag. Nice and strong. It does rack, but the, there's a space there between the actual rounds and the mag. So they're not going to feed. But you still get that... Uh, Real working action there. Very cool. Uh, these are 40 bucks. So this is cheaper than the little junk ones I got off of eBay. And I think it's pretty darn cool. So thanks to Goat Guns for making this one. We'll take a look at the SVD in the next video. Which is another model they have. Got a lot of them. Uh, you get it at GoatGuns.com. Had to go double check. So uh, very cool. And uh, you can see, much larger than the little ones I have from eBay. Uh, this thing, good 12 inches, almost 12 inches long. Four inches high, three in, over three inches high. Very cool. And it's solid. It's metal. So really, really digging it. Um, they do have other ones. I imagine the M16 is pretty cool. And they have uh, the Barrett. So pretty cool. Got an AUG. And they have others. I think on the website they have even more, more than that. So, another quick look at the uh, goat gun, or the first quick look at the goat gun, and uh, I guess there's also this stand. There's a hole in the bottom of the grip, and that way you can display it on a desk or something. And this thing's metal, so it's enough to hold the weight of the, the AK up in the air. So, if you want to check out one of the uh, goat guns, I encourage you to do so. They are very cool. And uh, if you want to get one for nothing, go over and hang out at Outlaw or the Outlaw Hatfield over on the gun channels and YouTube. And he's going to be giving one of these away to his uh, Patreon people. So check that out. And thanks to uh, Ellis for giving me the heads up on these. I had seen them before, but I had no idea how cool they were. And thanks everybody for watching.
The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.